Hey guys, it's Natalie. What's up? If you are new here, welcome. Subscribe. Give this video a like. I actually did a poll on my Twitter asking you guys what you guys wanted to see this week. So, you guys said full glam. And here it is. And if you guys missed this poll, don't worry. There will be more. Just follow my Twitter down below. And definitely vote on what video you guys want to see next from me. Today, I'm giving you guys a full glam makeup look. I'm so not used to doing all glam. I do really, really enjoy doing my makeup. I am not a professional at all. So, let me just put that out there. I'm not a professional. I just thought it'd be fun to experiment with a couple of different shades on my eyes. I did an ombre of light pink going to medium to dark. Um, sparkly with a cat eye. I'm really impressed on how it actually came out. Would never think this would look good, but I like how it turned out. If you guys want to achieve this glowy, pink, red, glittery makeup look, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is prime my face. I just got sent this Origin Original Skincare Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. And they sent me this just to try it out. It's like a foaming. That was a lot on my nose. Awesome. Cause then I just take it and I rub it all in. And it's so cooling on my face. Like it feels so good. Oh my gosh. And it smells really good too. Next, I'm going to take my True Match L'Oreal foundation. Okay, my shade is 4W. Do I love this? No. Does it work? Yes. Um, And I literally just like dab it and just wait till it like leaks out and then I just wipe it on my face so what's new with me other than I'm going to college finally I got accepted to all the schools I applied to which is amazing I'm like so happy about three colleges I did apply to they were Flagler College in St. Augustine, Florida, and then FAU, which is Florida Atlantic uh, University in Florida, and then my last one was University of Arizona. Got into all of them. Like really excited just to go to college and just like live the experience. You know what I mean? Okay, so now that's all blended in. Next, I'm going to conceal with the Tarte Shape Tape in shade Sand, and since this is pretty full coverage I am gonna use a lot of it I just like to make little tiny like squares did I just say squares not squares like kind of like upside down triangles I don't know why I just said squares and then I like to highlight on my forehead down my nose on my cupid's bow and also on my chin you know a couple people ask me why I don't use a beauty blender it's because I don't like how dirty they make my skin like I know brushes are just as dirty for some reason I like literally can't do but no college I'm very excited I really want to in college I want to major in early education next I'm using the Too Faced uh, coconut powder foundation in the shade medium tan this is sad really sad I'm almost out I'm basically out I need a new one really badly Next, I am going to bake underneath my eyes and my, like, smile line and, like, near my nose. And for this, I actually just like using a random powder um, because I am too lazy to actually buy, like, the actual expensive. I just take this and then with a clean, new beauty blender, I take it and then I just go all underneath my eyes very little but looks matte and then i'm gonna do it right by my nose i feel like that's where i'm really oily is my nose my lap line and then a little bit on my forehead i look crazy moving on i'm going to do bronzer and my favorite bronzer is the Too Faced there's a Too Faced one i use it in every single one of my videos like love it <sighs> and then i'm just gonna take um a bronzing brush and then just do it all on right underneath the cheekbones so i just like do like a kind of face and just you know chisel it out some people do like the three i don't 
what I do is I do it right here and then I also do my forehead because I do like my forehead looking very tan um, and I know that's not really how you're supposed to but this is what I do because I like looking tan and then of course I do underneath so now I'm just gonna move on to my eyebrows my eyebrows I do the exact same way I've been doing this for a long time with my eyebrows and it seems to work so I'm just gonna do the same thing all I do is I just take this dark eyeshadow um it's actually a dark brown and I just take a flat tip brush and then I just go to work on my eyebrows Okay, now that my eyebrows are done, like already kind of full, so I just like kind of like filled it in. Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, highly recommend. And then I just do two swipes. Swipes. That was more than two. Oh well. Okay, now with the same exact kabuki, I just wipe all this away. Okay, so I kind of want to do like pinky, purpley, shimmery kind of thing. So I'm going in with the Naked 3, classic, obviously, and then I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush, and then I'm going to take this color Limited, and I'm just going to put it all in the crease of my eye, and I'm doing it pretty messy, but like the main focus is on the crease. So then I'm going to take the brush that came with the palette and then I'm going to go in with and this is just going to go on the outside of my crease like right here or the lid actually my bad don't know the terms just going to be honest just to kind of like smoke it out but not really I don't want to look crazy, but not all the way crazy. Now I'm going in with the palette Aphrodite. I'm going to be taking this beautiful beauty color in love with the shimmer. I'm going to see how good this color picks up. Ooh, yes. Going on to the next one. So now I'm taking this color called crush and I'm just gonna focus that on the inside of my eye by the way I got this palette on hush um I got it sent to me and I'm like literally in love with it like such a good palette the only bad thing about it is obviously the fallout but as you can see like it's so pigmented I am looking crazy yep, I love this inside color a lot okay now that the eyeshadow is done I'm going to go in with this Stila liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to do a really intense cat eye. I'm not good at doing cat eyes on camera, but let's try. Not bad. Eyeliner is done. I forgot to do the highlighter and that's like my favorite part. I'm gonna use the Becca Champagne Pop if I can open it. And I know I need to get my nails done, but. And then the last thing is obviously eyelashes. These are, I think, wispies. I could be totally wrong though. But yeah, they're my favorite. My memory card ran out, but whatever, it's okay. I got a new one. So I just applied my fake eyelashes. And then the last step is, of course, doing mascara so it blends in. I'm using the L'Oreal, like literally it just says L'Oreal. But it's like the best mascara I've ever had in my life. And then I also like to do it on the bottoms as well. I do not like wearing, but I'm going to take this Sun Bum SPF 30 Banana Chapstick because my lips are very chapped. This is the finished look. I'm like literally in love with it. I 
hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I am not a professional. I don't know what I'm doing. I just do what I think looks good on me, if that makes sense. But yeah, I really, really, really like how this turned out. It's very, like, different and bold and different <laughs> but if you guys do want to try this out i will have i will have all of the products that i used in the down box below or something similar if i cannot find it and i will see you guys next monday bye